matchmaking, maybe. Well, even in matchmaking, you're not going to see yourself Kuro. like. The battle that's begins for person. good and all. Well, Kuro, security bounty room. Easy. Easy bounty room. Funnick, playing with that regenerator, he just smacked it with his anchor for good measure. Actually, what is it? What is he holding in his offhand? Funnick is what got the heck? like a beehive. G what? Genuine conch cudgel. What? What did these cosmetics? <laughs> <laughs> that bling dagger is also huge. On the tide. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Genuine tide hunter blink dagger. I've seen. Uh, okay, this is the one from Ti, I think. I remember seeing it what somewhere at Ti. I gotta look these up. I thought I knew about cosmetics, but apparently not. Cosmetics watch with Ben Ray. I I don't know my cosmetics, so you're gonna have to inform me there. So Trialing Top is currently against the dual lane as No Tail. Well, he's gonna quickly make his way up here, I think, when he realizes what's going on. At least get here in time for this pull on the stack. They didn't. They, they're offensive trial, but they haven't blocked this pull camp. So from secret side, they could just try and deny as much XP and pull the wave back uh, using that. But it's still also going to be a case where Navi have because you're on the Reagan side, you can also use the pull in the big camp yourself if you're Navi. So you get it from the hu Dota 2 Hero Clicks miniatures. What is that? I don't know. Dota 2 Hero Clicks miniatures. They're like the collectible action figures, I think, or something. Ah, that's cool. Okay. Nifty. Puppy and No-Tail gonna farm their pull up and well Navi already gonna go for a pull of their own. So Navi can fight pulls with their own pulls in this uh, radiant offlane. We'll see how things pan out though. This is this is gonna be a void who does not uh, he's got zero CS crew and it's probably gonna stay that way for, for some time. So what what's the latest in the cosmetic bed? How, uh, much, how much is it I worth? Was, I was looking at the Conch Cudgel, and Conch Cudgel is this item can only be attained by purchasing limited edition figurines from Perfect World at the China Qualifiers for the International 2014. Dude, he almost gets a kill on S4, but... Now he's gonna get turned around on one ball from S4, this is a kill, and he gets him with the arc! No. Oh dear! Then he went in for the kill, and... Level 3 is usually the kill, uh... Go Black could have gone for the kill on S4, but goes for Kuri instead, which is, I guess, a bit more money. Middle tower has a haste ring, so he should be able to get out of here. Yeah. Attacked. You, you level 3 is usually the kill point for Ember. And you get level 3, you get level 2 Flame Guard, you go on a hero that doesn't have that much magic damage, and then you get a kill. But not versus Zeus, it looks like. I think Zeus's boots arrived, maybe just in time to get out of the Flame Guard range. I'm not, I didn't. Ex I saw the end of it, and then Dendi... Went under the tower and he had has to run. 800 gold, uh, as well as Boots Bottle. What in the world with his net worth? He can't buy anything because the courier is dead, unfortunately. But yeah, I think his boots arrived on the courier, and that's kind of what saved him, perhaps. But yeah, either way, that's going to be a happy, happy Zeus. Dendi at mid is well, in struggle town now. He's going to try and push forward, but Dendi does not have the boots advantage. S4 has, so there's no way Dendi gets a kill anymore. Gets his boots arriving, but you're still boots versus boots, and Zeus is doing fantastic. Kablai gets stomped, and he's gonna get chased down. Easy kill for Big Daddy. Yeah, just caught on the wrong side there. Navi had a Voss low and couldn't really fight away from their creep wave, so bad stuff for Navi, that's for sure. Even with the courier kill, they're not gonna be too pleased with uh, the, the solo kill that S4 pulls on Dendi. Oh, you can still do that trick. We kill the tree here and then bought the arcane boots. Oh, at the mid lane? Yeah. I mean, I, you could do that before the patch, but after yeah. the Roshan chained around the area, I wasn't sure. Okay. That's nice to know. So it's, uh, yeah, it cuts down this tree and you stand like right in this little corner here. You just sort of stand right where that tree is? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's, 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 it is something kind of nifty in that dire middle lane side. Although you just, so few mid heroes get arcane boots. Zeus being one of the, the few, I guess. Yeah. True that. True that. Saved himself some time and yeah, he's already level five and a half to Dendi's well, level four. Although Dendi is just about level five, but S4 is going to be probably getting the four minute rune at bottom. Uh, the top rune will get controlled by the Navi supports, and assuming S4 can get himself a room, when he hits level 6, he's going to pose a big threat across the map. Like this trialing versus trialing, Seeker could look to engage using potentially that Th Thunder God's Wrath to support to go for some kills. 
Finally getting harassed on bottom, but he is doing A OK versus Simba, winning out 18 CS to 11. Then he's trying to bottom crow to keep his HP up, but I don't really think he can contest uh, Zeus's magical damage output. Goblin gets smoked up, or is that in this? Yeah. Uh, can they kill us for. I think they. Nah, S4 saw the observe. He saw the rune and also as a sentry. So not only did he see the invis get picked up, he saw like him walk towards mid lane with this observer. What I believe. Yeah, this observer will see across the river, and with a sentry, with the sentry there, he sees. He knows there's an invis ogre. So he's just going to sit back at uh, his tower. Back to farm and, well, pretty safely be able to hit level 6. Goblex is going to venture all the way down towards bottom lane. This is something Secret may not be expecting with this Invis Ogre. And this looks like we could be seeing a potential kill coming into play here. Tide's not level 6, but not going to need it, perhaps. Anchor Smash is there. They save the stun for the teleport out. Now they stun, and Simba's got no way to get out of this one. Navi get themselves on the board. Top lane, meanwhile, though. Her boss going to go down to the three-man gank of Secret in. That's the problem with Ogre leaving the lane. As soon as they see Ogre bottom lane on the map, they know it's safe to go on, on Havast. Yeah, this level 1 Echo Stomp too. M Big Daddy's... I, I mean, it used to be standard, it goes 0 4, four but uh, with a Echo Stomp, it's just so much easier to set up kills. After the time walk slow wears off, the melees can run to the other side of the hero, and then yeah. just get a lot more uptime. TP in from Simba, but <laughs> he TP'd into Bank Score. Now Goblet gonna drop as well. Simba, he just recently died, and possibly another death coming up. The Ravage gonna catch three. Simba's still alive thanks to the grave, but they're looking at multiple kills coming their way with Dendi. Burning down the Elder Titan as well as one more, and he's gonna now fire him, and that's a triple kill for Dendi. The third not going his way, he's looking for S4. S4 turns around, has an ultimate, but it's gonna get just a Skyrath Mage, he's not gonna find a way out of it. Dendi does get the triple kill in the end. Oh, four for one. Oh, that's a big rack. What was that TV for? <laughs> I think he was trying to gank Dendi, and then he just TP'd on top of the Skyrath Mage. Like, Skyrath was just waiting in the fog, which is exactly where Prophet TP'd on to, more or less. And I don't, I don't know what, what yeah, the fly was thinking. Funny guys, they're really setting that fight up with that. I think four man Ravage right there. I think it just caught three, but it, the fourth hero was, was kind of zoned out because of it. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> if Denny had a rough start, it is uh, <laughs> irrelevant at this point. Yeah, phase, bracer, TP scroll with the magic wand. Yeah, this is exactly where you want your Ember Spirit to be at six minutes in. Man, imagine if he got first blood himself instead of getting first blooded. It would be a dirty, dirty yeah. ender. But with level 4 flame guard up pretty soon, a lot of these heroes are toast. Zeus is still doing well. I guess your Zeus dying there isn't the, the worst case. He's got his arcane boots, he's level 7. He hasn't been shut down by any means. And see a potential gank towards the top lane. Funny gonna get Chronosphere right on the edge here. Puppy though, silence up means there's no shadow wave damage to follow this one. Funny gonna get stunned up by the Titan and now. Well, probably going to go down one or two more right clicks. That'll finish him off with the help of a Prophet ultimate. Good silence on the puppy, just n preventing the Shadow Wave damage, but that was a timely bash there. Without that bash, maybe would not have been a kill. Good lane. S4 going to get initiated on. There's a Searing Chains, but Dendi does not have the Flame Guard, and S4 has an ultimate, but he needs a bit more damage. Dendi going to get crowded up. No follow-up. <laughs> There's enough follow-up. Zeus with the ultimate comes flying through, and that's another kill going Secret's way. Just a bit over aggressive. Dendi fire remnanting it in. Did not have his fire flame remnant flame guard up. Only had the searing chains and well, pays the price. They're doing a really good job of protecting the Zeus though, because yeah. Navi's trying to gank him while he's still weak. But I'm not sure whether he's going to go for blink dagger. I'd say fairly likely that he will though. And at least for Navi, they didn't lose Dendi. It was just the Yoga Magi who ended up going down. So damage yeah, could was have been worse. So close to dying. Yeah. My first thought when he just disappeared, I'm like, oh, Dendi's dead. I'm like, wait, no. Just, you fire him out of there, so. Well, Dendi's, he's level 7, matching up to, uh, well, S4 pretty well, who's just hit level 8, picks up a Staff of Wizardry, and... Puppy plants a kind of obvious ward. I think they saw Puppy plant that, so that should get dewarded pretty quickly. As he comes through just to get that high ground ward. This is one of, like, my favorite wards, just getting it on the enemy hilt for the high ground vision, but you have to try to do so without being spotted planning. Well, he tried to do it at night time, but he was just like a tad bit too slow. Bottom lane meanwhile. Yeah. Whew. I don't know if they can kill him. They need... Prophet ultimate and then like Zeus plus ulti. one TP. Zeus ulti, Prophet ulti, and... Void maybe? Yeah. Yeah, Voss is fairly low, but he's got the strength threads up, 700 HP still. 
So for, for Navi, getting Havos's farm seems to be at least one of the priorities down here towards the bottom lane. He's just kind of sitting on the bed basics for now, and Funnick's going to start stacking up some Ancients. He's doing really well, has level 8. No points in Gush, has gone purely for the Kraken Shell plus the Anchor Smash. He's going to try to stack Ancients. Oh! Maybe I've a God, a lot of damage there. It's actually bottom lane, they've gone in on Havos. They're going to need a bit more with these right clicks here, and TP's coming in. Havos dealing a decent amount of damage from Simba. Funnick, without Radiant Gush, is not actually going to catch up to Simba, though this That's one doesn't look like it. Phase Boots helping Simba escape. Meanwhile, Dendi died on the middle lane. Oh dear. Oh, that's I don't not know if you saw what happened mid, I did not. It was bottom lane where they were trying to go on the Havos Razor and couldn't quite get the damage they needed. Go back at mid. Jeez, you gotta be careful, West Man. Taking heavy damage from this Zeus. Yeah, so it was, uh, I think Den just got caught by surprise by the Prophet Ultimate. Because he, he died to, like, towers slash creeps. I'm surprised he doesn't have a point inside a fist. Usually you'll see one point just for extra added mobility without having to use your ultimate or just yeah. a couple of seconds of uh, invulnerability. Yeah, you Radius can do dodge a spell or two, maybe like something like an echo stomp from the Elder Titan or whatever it may be. Well, I lost from the TP in mid lane. He's just picked up the Ring Aqua to go with Radius his creds. And Dendi's still working attack. on that drums now, so after that triple kill, Dendi kind of has gone back quiet once more. Like, there was that one good fight for Navi. Where they killed four, and apart from that, they've not, so radiant anymore. not really done too much this game. They're going to lose a top two on tower, and that's Cure on Void with Treads ring Aquila. He's got the max time lock, so even though he's got no Mask of Madness or anything, he's still got a decent amount of killing potential with the Chrono Spirit. Oh, Danny's shield just fell off instantly. He got bolted, and then the Astral Spirit came through, and there goes your shield. 500 damage. Easy peasy. Yeah, he cannot kill on the thing. Right. Oh. This... And you've got the double global ultis with the Zeus and the Nature's Prophet. That's the other nice thing about this lineup. So, <laughs> Flame Guard damage is just going to be dealt with very quickly on the secret side. And both of those spells can be amplified with the Elder Titan here. We are going to see middle lane Bangs get hit by the Spirit. One Zeus ultimate will spell to his death, but Zeus ulti on cooldown, so... No Zeus ulti please today. Oh, actually, it is going to be top lane. They're going with the Chronosphere. Onto Havals, and with the Shadow Wave, there's a Creep Wave surrounding him. The Creeps are even attacking inside the Chronosphere. That was a perfectly placed Chrono by Kuro. And another death to a Vault, so he's now 0-2. And everyone in mid was just so low from the Prophet ulti and Zeus ulti. Like, they, they didn't even really engage in everyone's at half health. How are they supposed to take these fights? Tide yeah. Hunter is also rushing a hood, it looks like. So, no Blink Dagger initiate from them. They're really relying on the Dendi Searing Chains oh, to set up kills for them. But he just... I mean, there goes the shield again. That... That's brutal. Maybe not the best game to be picking Ember Spirit, because this was their last pick, this game as well. Goblike smoked up, they're trying to kill S4 as he goes for the rune. Yeah, they're on the high ground. And there was no vision there for S4. Actually, they did have the vision in the mid lane with that Observer Ward, and S4 will get blown up. Did cost them a Ravage, though, so... From that point of view, Secret now have a two-minute window with Ravage on cooldown, and... I don't think they'll be too upset about that. No. Nope. I guess they much. didn't see Puppy plant this ward, because he has not been deep ward. Well, they saw him running away, but they didn't tell him what exactly he was doing. Yeah. I, feel they, sad they, for them. I mean, it, from our point, it was pretty obvious, but yeah, from the they're probably like, well, he might just be scouting out or yeah. looking for a game, or even just placing a sentry ward. And sometimes you maybe see a ward and you're like, look, we know it's warded, but we're going to save money, not buy sentries, oh, and just, if we want to gank that lane, you don't have to smoke. And that's kind of what Navi did there with their Ogre Skyrath. Secret accruing pretty decent gold lead, 3,000 gold lead, but with only a one tower advantage, and still they're in a somewhat precarious position, um, but not that bad. Tidehunter has gotten decent mileage out of his Ravagers, but Faces Void still getting on farm, Zeus getting a lot of kills, and already forced up complete, so he's looking good. And just Void having this Mask of Madness, he can solo kill just about anyone on the map now. Like, there's not many people who can get out. Tide. Yeah. That's true. Kraken as well as the, the hood to reduce some of the, the bash damage. Or if you, I mean, if you get the anchor smash, definitely yeah. not. Yeah. Anyone else should be able to. Even Dendi with that. Uh, even if he's full HP. Oh, he's about to get thrown up. Oh, Dendi. Mask of Magic to the head. Oh, the sun's coming to Kuro! Gets blown up and Dendi didn't survive. I think he maybe even dodged the Zeus ultimate with the 
with it. Well, no, he can't get the flame gun up, which probably negate a lot of that damage. And the chase is still on. Havol's gonna show up, and Simba TP'd into a really bad spot. Questionable place for him to be on that nation's profit. And yeah, two multi casts, two kills. Way to go, Ogre. God bless. Is it even luck anymore? I guess. I guess level one multi cast. Level one is, definitely is. Oh, yeah, Forty percent. That's pretty high. To get two in a row. I mean, you're looking at what? The Laguna Boy game. Yeah. That spell is just. <laughs> mm -hmm. Let's see, miss, miss the. Uh, just the steering chains there. S4 just gets annihilated by like a quick arc lightning plus the lightning bolt with the static field damage. He goes from like three quarters HP to just less than a quarter. No time at all. Dendi, same thing as well. Puts the fight flame guard up to help him out here. Funny's got no mana for a ravage, so he's just kind of threatening. But I imagine Secret have seen that he's out of mana and not, are not too worried about the ravage right now. Radiant's top tower is Pipe is attack. almost up for time. Funic, and this is, well, a fantastic game for a pipe when you're against Zeus Prophet. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. But it will cost them initiate, and I think the initiation might be more important yeah. because they, they need to get a BKB on Razor anyway, Radiant's right? Radiant's bottom tower so is under attack. So they're really just saving, I, feel sad for them. I guess, Tidehunter himself, but yeah. as a Ravage, he's not particularly useful. Ember, he already has his flame guard, so he's not going to get bursted down immediately. And Ogre is already pretty squishy, so... As much as I like Pipe, I actually think Blink uh, would be a better first item for him this game. Yeah. you got to imagine he'll go for the Blink next, but... Yeah, like, Dendi's the only one with a good long-range initiation now with the Fire Remnants, but Fire Remnant in has not really proven to be a great way to actually win a fight, necessarily. Multicast, man. Bottom tower is so under attack. Let's come to that. Yeah. Multicast has so far been paying off for them. Cronus, you're up in two Radiant's seconds. The Cura is ready to go up on the lane. Havos and Dendi both going to get caught in this one. Dendi's the first target. The Astral Spirit coming in as well. He gets destroyed. And there's your Elder Titan ultimate being set up by the Chronosphere as well. Two kills, make it three with Vanksko going down. Perfect Chronosphere from Kuro. Yikes. They're just not respecting Chronospheres. No respect, man. Has seen better days. Like, Dendi should not have been caught there with her boss. Like having her boss in the front lines trying to slow siege to town, maybe. But Dendi really being right next to him that kind of here, bad news. Fortified. And that's where not having like a blink on your tide. If tide's there and it's sitting back, you can blink and ravage the Kuro inside the Chronosphere. Maybe you do okay, but even with a blink ravage, like the damage was still there from the Zeus prop. But it's still questionable too. If yeah, if he knows that he has a blink and immediately has promo, uh, Pops will just drop his ultimate and then boom, they find tide. He can't blink. Easy dead target Simba getting tower. chased down it's by Dendi. Is he gonna be able to hit the chains? Well, not gonna go for it. Yeah, I guess he could probably just TP out afterwards. It would be close. The radius should really do something about that middle tower. Yeah, I think for Navi they're kind of they just have to farm at this point to get their blink on tide. BKB on Razor, because these fights are not going well for them, but the problem is they're not going well because of Chronosphere. Chronosphere is still gonna deal with these items pretty well. Kiro's getting fat. Yeah, he's... If he wants to, he just goes BKB next, but often we see stuff like the Maelstrom for that extra bit of damage inside the Chronosphere with the Maelstrom, uh, with the Maelstrom as well as the uh, Mask of Madness. But he's got plenty of options as far as item progression goes. To be fair, he could just go BKB and be really safe. Yeah. And the BKB for her boss is he's halfway there with the Ogre Club and 1k gold, but it's a little bit of a ways. Middle lane, S4. It's been initiated on here. There's a slow coming in. Dendi's turned around. Has the flame guard turned on, so. We'll see how Secret responds to this one. Chronosphere's up, so Void uh, cannot TP. He's actually got his TP on cooldown, although whether or not Navi know that's another matter. Looks like both teams are ready to go. Goblux coming in, we're ready for a stun as well. So here comes the multicast, perhaps. Nice full stuff to the high ground. Elder Titan gonna turn through his ultimate. Stun comes in on S4, and it is the multicast that we we're talking about there. They get one and back off, so. I don't think that pause particularly benefited anyone. If anything, it benefited Secret so that they could plan maybe a, a bit of an escape there, but there was no escape av available for S4. He's not going to need it for Goblak. Gets the first hit bash. The time lock's always there. He's going to use it just to be on the safe side. He doesn't want to get multicasted. Yeah. He gets multicasted with Mask of Madness on and Navi shot with like a, a Ravage or something and suddenly is under attack. Kuro's dead. He may as well play safe. 
No graves have come out on roofs yet either. Yeah. He got that max grade too. There was the one mid lane where he died anyways, when the Navi, the teamfight Navi won, but... Yeah, that's the only grave we've really seen. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. T1 mid tower will be potentially taken by secret. And now we have three nearby. Have a Ravage, and that's a team being Tidehunter. Puppy gets pulled out, he gets, and as a result, nice full stuff from S4! He full up Puppy outside of the Ravage, and S4 gets hit by it, but he's got no fall damage. Puppy's still maybe gonna go down, graves himself once more, and gonna TP out the chains on cooldown. Fantastic play from Secret, and meanwhile in the mid lane, they've killed the Razor as well as the Taikuro showing up. And even though without a Chronosphere, it's still a fight going Secret's way. That full stuff from S4. That was some fantastic stuff, and now Dendi's flame guy once again just gets bursted off by the Zeus damage. TP's, TP's not going to come, it's going to be a time walk forward. And Secret is just on the chase here, they want more! Zeus with a Bolt ulti will blow up the Skywrath Mage, and... Yikes. Three for nothing in the end. That was meant to be a good fight for Na'Vi. Yeah, I mean, when you're using Rabbit to kill a Dazzle, though, not the greatest idea. They sold the Zeus, but maybe they thought that he was going to force Steph uh, himself out if he got Ravaged, and they yeah. just weren't able to focus on the right target. That was... Huh? Not, not how Na'Vi envisioned that one going. You TP in the Tide and you have three other heroes there, you're expecting some kind of result. And this is where we go back to him not having a blink. Yeah. He has the blink, it's... He doesn't even have to use his Ravage, he can just blink right on top of Puppy, get a lot of damage on him, or just walk up to him and then blink if he sees his teammates coming through, but... His Titan has been so much They were fighting with Ravage against no Chronosphere as well. Like, Void's Chronosphere was on cooldown from the Yoga kill, so... From that point of view, Na'Vi should have a huge teamfight edge, but... That wasn't the case, Puppy now gonna walk into a Silent Team, Gush as well, he's trying to dodge the Skyrath ult, but does manage to do so pretty successfully. But will not get out. He couldn't get the grave off the silence, locked him in place. No tell now. Gonna hit a nice two hero stun. Four stuff's out. Chronosphere shows up, only catches that one, but it's still gonna be well a big kill if he can get it. It's gonna be the Tide Hunter who gets picked off the by the Kuro Chrono. It's best, but it doesn't and, uh, Navi thinking about maybe some return fire here, but chasing into these four stuffs has so far proven to be not attack. very effective. It's, they've now got two of them, with Elder Titan also picking his up. Man, Zeus almost has bloodstone. He Radius is, bottom tower I mean, is if he was attack. good to kill before, he's getting like 1500 HP. Who has the damage to kill him? I, I don't think it's an easy answer. And he stays alive long, even if they have the damage to kill him, if he just stays alive, alive long enough for a Dazzle Grape to come in, he gets kept alive. And during that time while he's graped, he can keep on dealing more damage with all his nukes, which are almost maxed out. He just needs uh, level 14 to get the maxed out Arc Lightning. So, Na'Vi have a lot of problems. The net worth really shows it right now. The top three farmers heavily on the secret side. So, I imagine the gold graph, yeah, 10k net worth advantage going secret way. And go Black's dead. So, a 21 minute blood zone for Zeus with his 4 stuff, and that's 4 is 8, 3, and 5. He's just been having a fantastic time this game. E everyone on the secret side as far as their core heroes. Prophet had a few questionable TPs and didn't exactly win his lane that he wasn't meant to win, but everything has just been all secret this game. Zeus ult used for good measure to secure the kill on Razor, and yeah, Kira's gotten to that point where he can just solo kill anyone. Yeah. Tide Hunter doesn't matter, he tight. Razor doesn't have BKB, easy kill. He doesn't even need the Chrono half the time. You know, We'll see funny in the lane, Cody blocks, not going to put him into the uh, Earth Splitter from No Tail, but... There's one ulti hero there, it's not the end of the world for Secret, they've got such a big lead all of a sudden. And Dendi just hasn't been able to run in, he's so darn squishy, he gets Chrono, he's dead, he fights without Flame Guard, up, he's dead, and how long does Flame Guard last? Radiant Spongebob Tower is under attack. <laughs> he doesn't have any armor either. Yeah. Minus 5 armor for Elder Titan, and then combine that with Weave, good luck. Well, Navi have their work cut out for them if they want to turn this one around. And Funix picked up another ring, so this could be a full staff, it could be a mech, but you got to think he needs some kind of initiation, which you'd normally say Blink Dagger, but maybe he's thinking he goes full staff against like the Zeus Elder Titan, since they're going to be so easily cancelling his Blink, so it could be a full staff, but... I mean, but... It doesn't really cut it. Secret's not just going to let a Tide Hunter walk up, even with four staff, and ravage them. That's asking yeah. for way too much. 
He four stops at you, you four stop away if you're if you're worried about a Ravage coming in. And his team doesn't have that much mobility either, so even if he does force in and Ravage, Void can just Chrono and catch at least two, usually three, I'd say. Yeah. Well, things looking bad for Na'Vi. Havost is still not got his BKB at 23 minutes, which, considering it's a first item, is definitely not good for the Razor. And Razor's the third most farmed hero on this team. Like, this is your tri-lane farming Razor, who's behind the Tide, behind the Ember Spirit. And behind, yeah. and behind the entire secret team, more importantly. It's looking grim. Yeah. <laughs> secret, very, very Secret grim. supports are filthy rich. It's... Yeah. Not much else to say about it. Void has gone for the Mjolnir, so he didn't go for the BKB and... Well, has, has the Aegis, so has that kind of backup insurance anyways. And kind of like you said, even if Tide does get a Blink Ravage initiation off or a Force Staff into a Ravage, the backup from Na'Vi probably not going to be enough to kill Kuro when there's a, a Puppy Dazzle to support him. Yep. And for Na'Vi, what, what can they do? Is it just like, turtle up, get down to your Battle Fury and just try and stall for the, for the late game? You have to believe in the multicasts. Believe in them. Still just level 1, so no 3 times multicast. You have to wait for uh, for Kuro to mess up, I'd say. Um, yeah. Like, go in, don't catch the ideal heroes, or even just like not catch an ogre, get multicast into Mystic Flare. He's dead. Barring a grave. And uh, because he hasn't gone BKB, the potential for that screw-up is kind of there. Yeah, or just get Ravaged yeah. with Mask of Madness up. Also, potential, possibility. Like, he can try and go in on Dendi, Dendi can dodge it with like a Remnant or something like that, and then turn around the fight. So, there are still potential plays for Navi to make, but Seeker can just play it safe, like get a BKB on Razor, whatever, um, just fight when the Aegis is up, you know, all these things are pretty darn safe for them. Yeah, so we'll see how, before they can wait for that crew mistake, they have to wait for this Aegis to expire as well, which has still got a couple minutes on it, so for Secret, they're likely to get this tier 2 bottom tower, the tier 2 mid, maybe a tier 2 top, during this Aegis duration, and I just don't see a way Na'Vi can... Pre like they, with, without a BKB on Razor and fighting into an Aegis, that just is not going to happen. Also, no Blink or Full Staff on Tide for his initiation. Yeah, it's very unlikely. Maybe Ogre can get Ags at one point, too. That's... But he's actually the lowest net worth in the game, so... Yeah. That's <laughs> not a likely possibility. Uh, even if you combine him and Scarath's farm, you'd be struggling to farm up an Ag Scepter this game. These two supports are struggle city right now. So, looks like Vink's got reconnected, although we're not ready to go just yet. Throwing out the old chat question mark. And uh, hopefully underway once again. A game plagued by uh, a few few issues, unfortunately, with uh, some servers, some DCs, recurring DCs, but it looks like hopefully things are stabilized here. The connection is stabilized. Navi's play, though, not so much. They had their, their ma well, Zero Gravity, their manager, and well, not so much their manager, more their owner, is he's saying look, the team's going to be back in form by February, so he made some big promises that this is going to be a... Oh yeah, we were talking about that last game. ...a top candidate once more. I don't know. I'll believe it when I see it. Yeah, me too. But I think he's right in that they needed, like, a leader. Like, they had Art Style, then they had Puppy, and then Go Black's, like, the new captain that this is... Go Black's not a good captain. Yeah, he's definitely a good captain. Like he's proven that on a few teams that he's done well with, despite them not having the biggest like star players or anything. But so. he's usually better with like not the current popular strats. I'd say this strategy that he's running right now is just a very cookie cutter, and he does best when it's non cookie cutter. Like he was doing the like necro mass necro three pushes with Lycan and Furion um, back when Lycan was at his heyday. Um, he was really good at those five man strats, you know, the tree that he pioneered into popularity. Um, so I think that it, it's a little bit better for them if they run, you know, something more like secret strat, which is less standard with the first pick Zeus. Yeah. First phase pick Zeus. Okay, he died Three right clicks, and then like some Zeus damage as well. And Kuro's just going ham, he's got the Aegis, even if you kill him once, he's going to come back to life, and they've used so much just to kill him that one time. The double four stuff escape is there, and then here comes the time walk from Kuro to the high ground. Kill two, get out of there. Simba's pushing top, mid lane. He died so fast. Oh my gosh, S4 damage up, and this Bloodstone, he's got 11 charges, he's going to respawn in 15 seconds. You may have killed the Zeus, but you're going to lose all five. It's a team wipe, and guess what, Zeus is back alive in five seconds. I think Kuro, 
only got three rank clicks on before Dendi was dead. Was it three? I thought it was two. Radiant's Maybe two. I don't know. I don't think he does enough. Like, I'm looking at his damage, it don't look like he can kill him. Uh, there was a Zeus bolt and like an, uh, maybe an astral spirit mixed in there, Radiant's but yeah, he melted. Yeah, and what do you can get away without getting a BKB? Your damage is insane. That's not good for the Radiant. Well, now we'll see this T2 top tower going down and with this Navi. Top four net worth heroes all on the die side now. It's previously just the top three, but Elder Titan has joined them up there and. Puppy kind of <laughs> on the front lines here, but he goes the void. He just time walks in. No BKB. He says, who cares? I've got a great behind me. Surely he does. There we go. Kuro kept alive. First are going to come through as well. And that helps bring down the Skywrath Mages. Go Black and Simba juking it out here. Simba, one more right click. Gets the kill with the help of the Mjolnir. They lose two in the process, and that's an overextension from Team Secret. Dendi's looking for a couple more kills here. They don't have the Rabbit, but Puppy, great. Shackles is there, and Dendi is going to catch up. Puppy cancels TP, and that's going to be a 3 for 2 trade in the ensuing fight. And S4 does not want to die again. This is a high value kill. Should Navi be able to get this one? Of course, it's in hot pursuit. Oh, he's got a TKB buyback to come out from the uh, the Nature's Prophet. He's now TP'd in to turn this one around. They kill a Volsta start things off. They'll get the Tidehunter and Dendi. Can do nothing but fire running out of there as he skips back to his own base. Yikes. Worth the profit buyback in the end, for sure. They do manage to kill Kuro, though, and that kill was picked up by Dendi. So. That's a decent amount of gold for him, but at the same time, it was just like him walking like, ah, whatever, I don't have ages, I don't have BKB, I'm just gonna go in. That was a pretty YOLO chronosphere. <laughs> Even with the, gra the grave doesn't save you, it keeps you alive for an extra five seconds. But well, he didn't get the chronosphere, he went in without it, though, so yeah. that's what was YOLO about it. Then he's gonna make his way top lane where Prophet blinks out. Radiance flies from to Mjolnir, is brings dagger up, and Zeus actually goes for some boots of travel now, so. Boots of travel, full stuff, bloodstone. You a fan of this Zeus build? Yeah, boots of trouble are nice. Force F is mandatory, I'd say. Yeah. The Bloodstone, like, it's it's one of those items you think, like, normally you want, like, the Ag Scepter thing, but Bloodstone just gives you so much survivability, like, more so than an Ag Scepter, and the shorter respawn's also really nice, and everything else the Bloodstone gives you. Yeah, you really don't need burst damage, because you already have it. All you need to really yeah. do is survive in fights, and you'll do a ton more. So, I mean, luckily for him, he doesn't need a BKB. Yeah. Alright, Void gonna make sure, but he is working on a BKB now for the Kuro's Faceless Void. And this is, well, he does so much damage now, he just needs to stay alive in a fight, which is fine. So, this should work out pretty well. Bottom tower is under attack. I and, feel uh, Faceless them. Void is only a couple hundred gold away from it. So, for Navi. They're gonna smoke up near this mid lane. Funny, has not finished his force up. He has got a couple of the pieces for days. him. We'll see that online with his Ravage soon. But right now, this smoke is not gonna find too much apart from S4. Dude, that's a big kill. Can they get double multicast followed up by a lot of next? First force up is there. S4 gonna get Ravage as well. It was a TP and Dazzle. He could have maybe gone for a grave, but wasn't there in time. And the counter gank is now coming from Secret Side. Boy, gonna time walk himself in. Gets one kill. The second's gonna be onto Funny. And Navi maybe get the Zeus out of that one, but they quickly lose two to follow, and it costs them a rabbit, so it doesn't even feel like a Navi victory after all said and done. Yeah, it looked like he was scared of a shallow grave. Oh, Dendi gonna go to the low ground, but he still gets caught out by a time walking Kuro, as well as the blink from Simba, and that's a three for one trade. And now, guess what? Zeus re respawns with the Bloodstone re respawn timer reduce. And he's already teeped himself into the boots of travel, so they're high ground, but Zeus already back alive. And he's building a Dagon for good measure. Yeah, why not? Time lock in, great Cronus here, Bane score as well as the boss, caught on both edges of it. Back for the Raxes, this is more or less GG it feels like. I'm not sure there's too much that can be done out of this. Raids are going to buy back for one last hurrah, but that means no, oh he has got the BKB, but you're losing Raxes here. Chronosphere, no rabbit at the same time on the Navi side, and Kuro's just time walking, got a one kill, Havon's gonna be a full dieback after one more right click, comes in, Simba with a double kill, and that's, that's it for Navi. GG. It is my duty to inform you that it was just not the best early game for them, and the offensive trailing didn't really seem to do too much. Well, I guess more importantly, Zeus with the solo kill on Dendi and just winning that big lane. Yeah, I think they need to put out more pressure from their supports and really force the Zeus out of the lane. I, I mean, 
I think I'm not exactly sure who's supposed to win that lane. Uh, that's not a very common.